Hi, this is David Papkin. Welcome back to Core Solutions of Skype for Business 2015. And in this one, we'll be implementing persistent chat in Skype for Business 2015 that I'm going to call SFB or SFB 2015. So in this demo, designing and deploying persistent chat server and configuring the topology for persistent chat server, I'll create a persistent chat share in one of the servers, configure the topology, and publish it first. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create the share here. P chat share. Next thing I'm going to do is, of course, got to go on to Monday DC1. See right here. Okay. 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 And I'm going to do is this RTC Universal Server Admins. And I'm going to add administrator to this. The next thing I'm going to do is configure the topology. Run the topology wizard. Download it. So I'm going to expand headquarters in Skype for Business 2015 in Persistent Chat Tools, and we've got to create a new one. And I'm going to name it this one right here. This is multiple servers on here. And on the FQDN, points in here. Now on the SQL store, to make sure I pick this one right here. In the compliance store. Right. This is a PC P chat share. Next hot pool. All right, fantastic. Now the next thing I'm going to do, I need to publish it. And this is the one right here. So what it's going to do is it'll actually create it so it can create or upgrade the databases on it. So I'm going to take a look at the to-do list here. Update it by running. Local setup in each of the list. Let's replicate. That has been successful. And this one's right here, and that's still right here. Great. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to install the persistent chat server. I'll verify the prerequisites. 
run the deployment wizard, or run PHC1, obtain certificate, and verify persistent chat installation. So what I do is just uh, verify the prerequisite. I'm going to end this lookup first here. I'm going to type london pch onedatumcom Okay. Good. Chat pool datum.com. Nope, there's nothing over there. What I need to do is I'm here. I need to go into London DC1. So in London DC1, forward lookup zone or datum. Host record. Zero dot twenty two. And host. Done. And let's look up P chat pool of a datum dot com. I spell the right. Great. Okay, now it's showing this one right here. As you can see, Windows PowerShell 4 is installed. We have the Net Framework. On here, 4.5. Windows Identity Foundation, 3.5. On here, Remote Server Administration Tools, it's over here. Web Server IIS should be on here. Media Foundation. Net Framework 3.5 and Message QA. Right here. Then I'm going to go Programs. Go to features. And I'm hoping that we see silver lights installed also. Good. Excellent. I'm going to run the deployment wizard on PCH1. And I'm running setup here. So now I'm going to install it on here. So I'm going to click on install or update Skype for business and then next going to click on install in the local I'm going to install the local management store and it's going to download it from the CMS which are replicated from the front end servers. Okay good now this is done as on here. It's also done as it's installed onto this one right here. Let's be a copy of SQL Express on here, possibly. Now, the next thing is I need I'm missing. Because afterwards, it's important that one is run and also that this one has a green check mark. You can even find sometimes when you're having trouble going to some of the websites or any of these because maybe there's some IS components missing, etc. So this is actually going to do is check. Now that it's done, you'll notice in a second there's a check mark. So great, we've installed the local store, which is pulled from the CMS, and it's verified all the prerequisites next. The next thing we need to do is, is obtain the certificate. default certificate I'm going to request. 
The London DC1, good. Datum CA. An organizational text. This one. IT. UK. London. Good. That's completed. Good. Assign this one to Skype for businesses here. Good. Now notice on here, sub against pchat pool at datum.com. Good. Good. Now you'll notice on here that there's green check marks. If there's a problem with certificate, there'll be either red check, a red check or a yellow caution icon. You can always view the certificate of it here and you can always look at it right there and help you debug it. So the next part I need to do is, is to verify persistent chat installation. So I'm going to do is start the service. And then after that I'm going to verify. So that So I can see Skype for business, all these ones are running, fantastic. Now what I'm going to do is on this, I'm going to go into the Skype control panel. Let me take a look at topology here. Status. Now notice here, I just clicked off it and clicked on here to refresh it. It was a second ago refresh. Let's see what's going on here. Good. So London Pete CH1 has downloaded his replica of the CMS and the status is it's good. So it's all good to go. Fantastic. Now the next thing I'm going to do is register a new add-in. I'll confirm the add-in URL. Now on this one right here, we can see the ADATUM Skype for Business reports on here. Good. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to register monitoring add-in. I'm going to go down to persistent chat here. I'm going to click add-in. New. IT reports.
Go down this right here. You commit. So this concludes on this one right here, on this video right here. In our next video, I'll be doing configuring and using persistent chat. This is David Papkin. Thank you. See you soon.